Oh, and just a quick announcement. Uh, this is here for a reason. It's not just a paintbrush, which I can, I can guess based on this thing behind me, that I could be into painting and art. Uh, no, that's not my means of uh, expressing myself. Uh, I prefer color pencils and that turn. But there is a thing I kind of kept a bigger secret than my own book or books. There are plenty. And yeah, I think, actually kind of feel, that it's time to let you know or show. Uh, finally properly show you uh, what my third greatest passion is. Uh, so writing is the first, drawing is second, and cosplay or yeah, cosplays are fourth, uh, third. Uh, fourth are redecorating or uh, recrafting all things, which is another thing that's going to happen in this video, so you can perhaps get this idea of what I do, what I do with uh, my skills, and I'll be making my first costume for full costume this year. I'll be making it head to toe. And there are some elements I'm good at, some elements I'll be learning from this year, and mostly sewing, because I've tried it, but I utterly am horrible at it, I do not understand how it works, and yeah, I'm gonna need to practice plenty, of, but that's why I started five months in advance. The costume I'll be working on should be done actually two, I actually have to make one for my daughter as well. So I have two costumes to complete before, uh, well, essentially Recon of 2021, where I'm gonna reveal the first one. There's also another Sun's Fair in Zagreb in May. So somewhere around my birthday, which is awesome. Uh, and I have to get something ready for that. So I have, three costumes to come up with until, I mean, two, one until May and two until, uh, yeah, Raycon. Uh, honestly, I'm saving the bigger one for Raycon because uh, last year I kinda had just a week to prepare and it was a swift a bunch of ideas and swift making of the costume so I kind of just got everything together in a hurry uh, and it's I mean didn't look bad I ended up in all the media coverages essentially but um, didn't look bad but this year I want to go full out and show everyone my third little secret passion and that has always been crafting. I'm a crafty person. I like to redo, redecorate uh, essentially everything I have. And just by looking at this table, okay, there are some store-bought things, like just figures and stuff. But, okay, my friend made... Okay, you can see it, never mind. Um, but I always recrafted things to suit essentially what I was. Uh, my family called it junk, so um, yeah, I threw away plenty of it <laughs> because they kind of convinced me that uh, anything I recrafted was destroying the original thing, even though the original things were gently, gently, well not gently, just generally broken uh, or were going to get thrown out anyway. Um, and I kind of wanted to give them a new life, a new meaning, uh, something that's gonna, you know, rep represent me, but also extend its purpose. I hate throwing things that can be used again out. I mean, you can see, if you look at the screen, that cat head over there. Uh, I mean, again, my table's full, full of such things, so I can go on forever. Uh, just, yeah, uh, giving things new life uh, as decorative objects. And not only was my, uh, my collecting 
excuse me not only was my collecting uh, wrong uh, I was collecting junk I was reading junk I was making junk and the kind of me believe that it is junk now Essentially, it meant that I redecorated the thing. I spent my own money, allowance money, in paints and art supplies to turn it into something new. It wasn't always good. It had flaws. No one expected it to be perfect at the first go. That's clearly not going to happen. But uh, what happened is that I realized, and I didn't realize this until I started to work on the project for this year's recon uh, was I threw away so much good potential material in a course of my life uh, that yeah it was a big mistake it was a big mistake but one I can currently not fix it's gone <laughs> um, what uh, I kind of got into uh, with the costume and everything was realizing how much I'm actually capable of. I mean, I've been using techniques uh, on smaller things like, uh, for instance, I once bought, uh, actually I'm going to show you that, you're going to have to just give me a moment. Uh, sorry guys, I'm back. Uh, so I bought these uh, dragons and they're pretty bad. <laughs> I mean seriously pretty bad in terms of how toys are supposed to look like. I got them for I think less than a euro and they were like badly painted. Uh, I mean in some aspect you, you can still see the flaws in them but uh, I took time and that was... Uh, Kind of a fun activity with my daughter where we turned bad looking toys uh, repainted them uh, put some you know that uh, glossy thing so turned them into something better and in place of and eventually throwing away toys we made keepsake dragons to serve as decorations for now uh, I don't guarantee, I reuse my old projects, I work with them, so, yeah, it's going to be, I'm just gonna see where this ends up eventually. Might get repainted or whatever, nothing is excluded with me. Uh, so, that's one of the things that even my husband, when we first met, found unnerving, was the fact that I kept... Uh, bringing in things which he had no understanding of i mean why i mean first when i showed up with his toys he was like why would you buy something so cheap the thing is when i see something in the store or uh, or something in those especially those cheap toy stores uh, i love to go into cheap toy stores and just see what I can change or turn into something of my own style, which is exactly why <clears throat> ever since I started to work on this project, uh, I have been saving money, cutting costs and so on. So I have not entered a single one because I'm afraid of my own, <sighs> my own, and I admit this openly, I have no borders when it comes to buying Halloween supplies, cheap toys uh, to redecorate, art supplies, office supplies, and uh, things like, just a moment, things like these notebooks, uh, I am <laughs> weak for those things, so. Uh, in way to, the best way for me to save money was simply to avoid stores that sell those things. Uh, and, I mean, the, the list is long, but yeah, you get the picture. Um, so I kind of go into the store and see something. It has to, it, it's like uh, buying clothes for me. Uh, if it hits my eye somewhere, and I'm most likely gonna buy the, that thing that caught my eye. It doesn't even have to be in the video display. It just has to be somewhere inside. And I kind of have this thing where if it catches my eye, I'm going in. 
and I'm gonna take a look at it and most likely buy it. If nothing catches my eye that day, I'm not buying a thing. Uh, same thing with these cheap toys uh, for... Well, essentially my daughter was playing with them for a while, so... And once she stopped playing with them, I had another choice of throwing them away, uh, causing myself not only to, to throw away money, but to throw away a possible good art, art supply uh, craft session. <laughs> and yeah, so... And, you know, but, but just to get backtracked... <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's just me. Uh, yeah, when I started to work on this project, I kind of realized that I have a third gift I kind of left uh, and threw away for years, and I'm done with that, so starting soon uh, on this video channel, uh, I'm gonna be showing you... Look, first of all, it's not gonna be perfect. Uh, keep that in mind. I'm gonna be showing you the process of uh, making my first full-sized uh, costume. Like I said, I have three to make, so I should be busy. Uh, and yeah, like I said, it's not gonna be perfect, there are gonna be mistakes, but uh, just enjoy it and have fun. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> um, that, that's about it. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care, subscribe. By the way, that's free, seriously. Subscribing is free. Hit that notification button, it's free. Uh, to have fun, it's free. Only thing you can actually buy from my channel is the book and that the link in the description of this video. But other than that, just enjoy yourself and enjoy the content. So have fun, guys, and have a good day.